It's like the 9th of July, and I'm over in the Winnehaw. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the most epic day of elk hunting I've ever had in my life. I just woke up. Oh. You went 23 years for this guy. You take a nap? Oh, dude, I was tired. Whatever. This is not the gimme hunt that people think it is, but we're for you. Working hunting every day since day one. We are working hard, and this is all the day is. A monster! See as big as I thought? Look, look, dude, right there. Okay, here we go. September 1st. Got the trailer packed. Grab me a water for the road. And uh, we're out of here. Winnehaw 2023. Leaving the old house for the next month. Change for that. So let's see what happens. I'm going to take my time getting over there. I'm meeting uh, friend Nick and his wife. And they're going to help me uh, get camp set up possibly. So yeah, I'm going to head down I-84 safely. This will be the last time I see the old Bode for a month. Maybe sooner. We'll see if we get lucky. But anyway, follow along with us. Winnehaw 2023. Waited 23 years for this tag. And I'm going to see if I can't make the best of it. Stick with us, Benchmark Outdoors. Hopefully we've got a lot of good stuff to come. Opening day, Winnehaw 2023. It's about 6 o'clock. And um, I'm going after Harley right now. Just trying to figure him out. Um, I'm going to head down in this canyon. The winds, of course, it's going down. It's in the morning right now. So I'm kind of hanging out up here listening. And I'll check the wind in here in about five minutes. And then I'll just start working my way down here. Maybe throw a few couple bugles um, down in these canyons and see if I can't get an answer. Just uh, my main plan is today is to uh, just cover some ground. You know, not do a lot of brush busting, but just, you know, stay up on these ridges, see if I can get a bugle or two, and um, slow play it right now. I'm going to stay out probably all day, unless it's just dead. Uh, i got a few things to still do at camp, but yeah, it's a beautiful morning, beautiful morning. So, here we go, opening day, Winnehaw, 2023. Wish me luck. September 3rd, Sunday, the second day of the hunt. A lot of people up here running these roads. Um, but I'm going back in after Harley. I went on the, it'd be the far north side 
ran last yesterday. I did 8.5 miles in there and uh, never saw a fresh track. Saw one whitetail buck. So covered all that. Never heard a bugle, cow call, nothing. Found a couple good water sources <clears throat> and uh, no elk tracks. So I know they're in here. Um, so I'm, I'm on the far, it'd be south side of this rim. So I'm going to go in here, do about a three mile loop, maybe drop another camera, uh, just see if I can find something. I'm trying to put these pieces together. So stick with me. I'm doing it solo right now. Um, so having fun. Um, everything's going good so far. It's a little slow, but it's early. Take care and follow us along. Follow along with us. Um, and see if I can't make something happen this morning. Look at the size of that rub. There's another one up in there. I'm going to put a camera in here for sure. I don't know. I mean, you can't tell, but that's seven feet. That's eight feet. Let's go check out this one up here. Let's go check out this sucker. Maybe that's Harley. Look at that thing. Goes all the way up into there. Wow. The search continues with that at all all right sunday night um evening hunt second day of the season i'm just gonna hunt behind camp i'm gonna see what's shaking back here so haven't heard anything yet seen much um having fun but anyway we're gonna head out that uh little spur road there um and see what happens i hunted this in 2014 when my buddy had the tag and we got into a lot of stuff back here. So let's go have some fun. Just going to make a big loop. Got a good wind right now. So anyway, here we go. Let's go check it out. Found another awesome one. Bear. Seriously, six in the morning. I just had uh, four bulls screaming all around me, and I don't know if you can hear, but right over here, somebody decided to start cutting wood and shut everything down so I'm gonna bomb out of here I think it's pretty much it for in here so I'm gonna bomb I'm gonna go my original plan I ripped off a bugle from camp and uh, had one answer right behind me so 
I'm going to bomb. I'm going to go jump in the runner and head up high. Go check a camera, see if I can't get something going on up there. Kind of a bummer, but whatever. Oh, yeah, there's a wall, though. Okay. Let's see what's on here. Heading back to the rig. I dropped down into this, uh, yeah, dropped down into this little draw. And saw some birds fly up, so I came over here to look at this. There's two more. Crazy. Let's walk down through this. Check it out. start this morning um, just having some trailer issues anyway I got up and I decided to come over in the burn I just ripped a bugle and I got one that sounds pretty good off uh, he's not that far away so I'm gonna get the wind right and circle around and see if I can see what he is maybe call him in something good is happening stay tuned not cool It ain't freaking cool. It ain't cool at all. I'm out of here. I tried coming down this burn, and that's what I was worried about. Got some bulls bugling in here this morning. But I don't want to tangle with that crap. So, 
back to high country. Not cool at all. <laughs> past a 310, 320 dark over six point. Called him in to 15 yards. Probably the biggest bull that I've ever passed up. Definitely the biggest bull I've ever passed up. I don't know if you could have heard, but right when I started this little vlog, one peeled up over here. So I'm going to go see if I can't call him in. Finally starting to heat up here. All right, it's about uh, 3.30, just rolling into camp here. I'm going to go check in, see if Mark's there, and uh, see what the plan is. I guess he called in a pretty good one this morning to like 15 yards, uh, like 320 class bowl, which isn't quite what we're looking for at this point in the season. <clears throat> so, we're going to go get the skinny, uh, see what's up, and uh, go make a plan for tonight. See if we can execute. We're up right there. So, yeah. Here we are. And there he is. I wish I would have got that on film. Why did you not? Where are you? Welcome. Hi. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. I just woke up. Oh. Been waiting 23 years for this tag. You're taking a nap? Oh, dude, I was tired. Oh, whatever. Oh, let's do this. Let's go. Okay. All right, so I don't know, Friday, it's day number seven, and uh, Hook showed up today, and he's showing off his culinary stills. What do we got there? A little, Instant mashed potatoes? Uh, no, a little fresh, fresh mashed potatoes, man. No, freshly rehydrated. Freshly rehydrated. A couple nice steaks he brought. Uh, it's gonna be a nice change of pace. Uh, we're going after Harley tomorrow. What do you think? I'm just glad you're finally listening to me. Well, it's good to have another uh, set of eyes and ears and brain in camp because uh, passed up a pretty good bull this morning, but other than that, it's been pretty quiet for me. Uh, so we're going to head over to Harley Country and try farther south, um, see if we can't cut some sign and see if we can't get some bugling. Tonight was pretty quiet. Anyway, we're going to sit down to dinner and just enjoy our time up here. Things should be getting good. Well, we had a plan to go hunt Harley this morning, sit on the other side of the unit. But we woke up to bugles in camp, and so we can't really, we can't stand it. We're gonna see if we can't check them out. We got one, call him the camp bull. He's over here on these flats, and then we got a, a couple different bulls down here. They haven't sounded off in a while, so what we think is, this is boss, man. These guys are just pissing him off. So we're gonna go around the corner, do a couple locate bugles, see if we get, get some fired up and move in on him. Ah, uh, better than nothing, right? Oh yeah, we'll get into elk. We, we wouldn't want it to end this early anyway, because then we'd be disappointed. I don't know. I've been pretty hard at it. But yeah, let's go have some fun. Work some balls.
So you just want me to set up right, like right here? Is, the chances of me calling Bronson Smith aren't very good. Yeah. Um, but he's right across the way. How far is it, do you think? Two, three hundred yards back. He's not leaving that area unless this dude hit a silent bullet. Unless he was the big dog. Because he pushed those. He yeah. pushed those guys up. They, there's no way. We're still in this. Thinking Mark's horse that never winded us, but the bull came and pushed the cows. That was in the herd with a little cow popped out in front of them. He says that hurt. And the bull came and pushed these cows across the meadow and uh, started up the other side. And we let it sit for a little bit. And uh, I just touched off the vehicle and we got two responses back. Sounds like more gravelly somewhere. Slow play here. Just keep tabs on him. I think what we ought to do is just hang out, and keep tabs on him. I don't play him. Expect him to be able to pull through this. But we can go move in on him once they kind of get bedded. It's after seven in the morning now. Did you hear a cow call? I did. Yeah, and it didn't sound. That's kind of what I thought too. But never mind. Yeah, that's why he said that. Unless you're coming off the front. Did you hear the bull down here? Yeah. Oh, there's that one down there. I did hear this one way up there. So. So, looking at the map, it looks like this stand of timber here is like a nipple that comes out. Like yeah. We could squirt across this real quick, get in that other stuff. And then make a big loop like that. Uh -huh. So, I think uh, as far as that bowl that was going this morning, I think our next bus for him is going to be uh, give him an hour or two before I bed down and try to move in on him. Again, if you want to keep pushing him. I'd like to make a loop. I think there's people coming down this draw. Well, I think maybe those cow calls were, but there's, st there's still a bull out there. I guess all we need to do is just drive around. Yeah, and drive fast so this cloud blinds them. She's lost. <laughs>
Hiking stick. Did you break it? No, I, I left it. My hands were too full. Um. No, I didn't see him. Was he a good one? I don't know. There was multiple. Yeah. That's a person. That that one up here on the hill. That's what happened. Is is somebody came on the private and pushed him. Because I heard a bark down here when I was up here. I heard a bark and I could hear him taking off. But this one got pissed off. Uh -huh. He's the one that has the cows. Yeah. Yeah. So one cow did get by him. And she she walked past me at like twenty yards. Oh, you saw her? Yeah. While I was sitting there calling the whole time, she just kept looking at me. I didn't see her. I thought I heard stick break over there. Yeah, no. Did you get cow. video over? Mm -hmm. A little bit. I was trying to keep it on you, but God. That was close. That's our name of the game, just the chase, man. Well, what about that other one that was? Uh, he was, uh, uh, yeah, there was multiple in here. But he's coming, I mean, slowly. But these, I think these guys came in, and they must have, I don't know, I don't know, whatever, it's elk hunting, but now we got a little ways out of here, but I think we just, we got to skirt this property line. Yeah. I mean, we had no idea this private was here. Or, no, I thought we were, I thought we had nothing but national forest ahead of me. I'm glad I looked on on Axel. Yeah, I would. I didn't know why you were stopped. I was getting pissed. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I know. I was just like, just uh, go. <laughs> well, I saw that clear cut, and I'm like, ah, is that Hancock? And I looked at it. I'm like, no, it wasn't Hancock. So, yeah, the chase stopped. But he came. Um, he, he came liked your cow call. He sounded like you were. He sounded like he was right. He here. was he right. He was right over there. I could hear him stepping, but yeah. I couldn't move on him. So, all right. Well, that's uh, hmm. that's a wrap for today. Yeah. Good morning, good evening. Slow, hot during the day, though. But it's good to see him get being active like this. Yeah, yeah. It just goes to show you, like, you can't don't get, give up. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty. That, that sounds one. way up there, yeah. yeah. He's way up there. But yeah, this was definitely a person. 
I mean, you, they can fool you a lot of times, but just like your cadence with your five high pitched chuckles at the end. Uh -huh. Well, he, he that one never moved. That one I never. But there was like two more that were. Yeah, yeah. Back but back. that that one that never moved was the people. Yeah. So, all right, that's a wrap. Um, let's head out of here. Get back. We got a little walk out of here. We so got like, some uh, campfire surgery to do later. What happened? Dig a stab out of my hand from raking. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, fun evening. It's like the size of a pencil. Let me see. Things we do. That's a stick. <laughs> All right. Let's head out of here. All right. Over and out. A little backcountry first aid here. I got a rusty pocket knife. That's the hazards of raking when you got a bull at 100 yards. Oh, God, I can't. Mm, I actually might need your pliers. It's good. just a baby. You said it was as long as a pencil. I said as big around as a pencil. You didn't say the pencil lead. Hmm? You stick it in your hand. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make some dinner.